Aubrey Plaza said that she freaked out Robert De Niro when she first met him while filming Dirty Grandpa. Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Let's dive right into the video and find out how Aubrey Plaza freaked out Robert De Niro on Dirty Grandpa. What really happened? Aubrey Plaza is known for her deadpan humor and intense characters, like her Parks and Rec character April Ludgate and Ingrid Goes West's Ingrid. As she has shifted away from network television and into more roles in films, she's taking notes from Hollywood greats like Austin Butler and Jeremy Strong, and tried method acting while on the set of 2016's Dirty Grandpa. The pair starred in the 2016 comedy, in which Plaza plays a character who's obsessed with having sex with the Nero's character because he's a college professor. However, she may have method acted too close to the sun, as she acted totally insane around her co-star Robert De Niro. She explained that she was focused on playing Lenore, a young woman who wants to have sex with De Niro's Dick Kelly, and staying in character. By the time he'd show up, I'm in character. My character had one goal, to have sex with him. I was acting totally insane as the character because we were about to shoot, explained Plaza to Variety. Plaza continued, most of our scenes were making out and saying dirty stuff to each other. It was ridiculous. I don't think he understood that wasn't me. You'd think he would because he's an actor and an amazing one. Plaza shared that she didn't really have a relationship with him off camera, which made her behavior more strange to him. While she didn't specify what she did around him, she did reveal that one of her agents heard Bob's a little freaked out by her. It seems to be a pattern with Aubrey Plaza. Plaza said she eventually got to speak with De Niro properly a few months after they started filming, when he invited the cast and crew to his home for lunch. She added that the 79-year-old actor didn't recognize her at first, but once she reintroduced herself, they became friends. This is not the first time Plaza has brought up how she accidentally made De Niro uncomfortable on set. In 2016, she said on Jimmy Kimmel Live that at one point, the director of the film, Dan Mazur, tried to get Plaza to suck on De Niro's nipples. I'd try to get in there and suck on his nipples, and he was like batting me away, and I didn't know if it was in character or not, she said. And then they cut the camera, and the director called me back and was like, Bob does not like his nipple area paid attention to. I was like, great, now he thinks I wanted to do that. Plaza, who stars in the forthcoming season of The White Lotus, went on to discuss her weird behavior on talk shows. As per Plaza, every time she tells herself to just be normal, it seems like she's giving herself an order. It would feel like she's telling herself to just do it and get out. Plaza would be on set and see Tom Hanks doing it and I'm like, he's smiling, he's doing great. I'd rather have an uncomfortable time because it feels more real, but it's not on purpose, she said. Other notable classic Aubrey Plaza moments? Hosting the IFC Spirit Awards. Aubrey Plaza's dry humor made for a bombastic choice in hosting the 34th and 35th IFC Spirit Awards, as she was set in her task of redefining what it meant to host award shows, and made sure to hold nothing back. The actress criticized many of the celebrities in attendance, as well as other notable award shows like the Oscars, echoing the feelings of many within the fractured political landscape of the US and the entertainment industry at the time. Her appearance on Hot Ones Hot Ones gives viewers a more down-to-earth and fun view of their favorite celebrities within and outside the traditional entertainment industry, as guests must fight off the heat of a spicy wing challenge while being interviewed by the show's host, Sean Evans. To no one's surprise, this creates an opportunity to generate many memorable moments. Aubrey Plaza takes on the heat with an unflinching stare, and as an iconic way of battling against the spicy challenge, she pours milk through her nose. Answering the Web's Most Searched Questions Despite her hatred of the internet, Plaza and her fellow An Evening with Beverly Loughlin star Craig Robinson took on Wired's well-known autocomplete interview. The web's most searched questions about Plaza included commonplace ones such as her dating status and if she has any siblings. The web was also curious about if she stayed friends with Parks and Recreation cast member Chris Pratt and Amy Poehler. While she said that Pratt filed a joking restraining order against her, Plaza did say she's part of a mass text chain, with members of the show that is regularly updated. Going undercover on the internet Taking part in GQ's Actually Me series, Plaza went undercover on a variety of social media platforms to directly answer questions from fans. While many were curious about her career, such as Daria live action movie, and how she worked with Michael Caine, one YouTube comment raised the best question. Is Plaza playing a character or is she like this all the time? Her response, you do a GQ Actually Me interview and try not to act like this. All in all, Plaza is notorious for being crazy inappropriate 
despite all demands to the contrary, and we don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Robert De Niro or no Robert De Niro. 